<laughs> the kite dream started when I was four or five, and continued until I was in my early twenties. It was a standard-looking, diamond-shaped yellow kite. It had wooden support rods and a six-foot-long string hanging from the bottom. At the end of the string were three bows. The top two were white, and the bottom one was the darkest black you could imagine. It was never being flown by anyone. The black bow would always just barely touch the ground. For some reason, the sight of the kite terrified me. I had no idea why until almost two decades after the first dream. When I was young, I'd sometimes dream that I was in school and would happen to glance out the window, and there would be the kite. Sometimes it would pass by the window, sometimes it would just be in the middle of a large, grass field all alone with that black bow slightly fluttering on the ground. It always kept its distance, but I could feel it was always looking at me. It did not have eyes. As I got older, the kite showed up in almost every dream I had. Work dreams, driving dreams, flying dreams, bizarre dreams, and so on and so forth. Always in the distance, always watching me. The last year of the dream was the worst. The kite started getting closer. It seemed like it was finally getting comfortable enough to approach me. My fear of this kite was just as intense as it was when I was five, and the fact that it was slowly getting closer and closer to me in my dreams terrified me even more. Eventually, it got so close I could hear it. It made that fluttering sound that kites make from the wind. But it was never windy in my dreams. That only spoke to me even more. The last kite dream was the worst dream I ever had. In the dream, I was in a large white room. There were no lights, but it was illuminated in the room. No doors or windows either. Nothing at all, except me and the yellow kite. It was about 40 feet away and just floating there. I never was in an isolated situation with this kite before. This was completely new to me. I knew I was dreaming and screamed to the kite, What do you want? I never spoke to the kite before, but I guess I had enough. Of course it didn't respond. So I just said to myself, Fuck this, I'm yanking this thing to the ground. I was surprised by my courage, and the closer I walked to the kite, the more powerful I felt. That is, until I got about five feet away. This was the closest I've ever been to this kite. Two decades of dreams, and here I was, five feet from my fear. I slowly walked up to it, and as I reached for the string to yank this kite down, I looked at the bows. The two white ones were perfectly tied. Easily the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I don't know why, but I got comfort from them. I followed the string down to the black bow. The thing is, it wasn't a bow. It was a jet black hand, almost like a shadow, coming out of the ground. I woke up screaming. That was my last kite dream. Twenty fucking years this thing was with me. Twenty years of me not knowing that black bow was a hand. I have no idea what it was or what it wanted or what it meant. But I haven't had a kite dream ever since. The sound of kites still sends shivers up my spine, though.